We are continuing with lesson five, solving multi-step equations, and this is page number three. This is the part that might be a little bit new for us. When solving linear equations, and that means equations where the variable has no exponent, or technically the exponent is one, um, there are three types of solutions. As of now, we've only been dealing with one type, but there are actually three that exist. So you could have one solution, you could have a solution that has all real numbers. And by real numbers, I mean you could have whole numbers, you could have fractions or decimals, um, you could have irrational numbers like the square root of three. Uh, there's lots of possibilities that you could have. Or you could have absolutely no solution at all. So let's match these up. A, I can plug any number into the equation and the equation will be true. Oh, well that would be all real numbers. So all real numbers means any number at all will make the equation true. B, there is no number that will make this equation true, none at all. Oh, that would be no solution. If there is no number that will make my equation work, then there is no solution. And then see, only one number will make this equation true. That would be obviously one solution. Let's go ahead and do our examples and you'll see how each of those will work. All right, number five. Ooh, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and simplify this and distribute first. So this becomes two times five x is 10 x. Two times negative one is negative two. And three times x is three x. Three times 11 is 33. Okay, um, I'm going to move my variables to the left side so I get positive. I'm gonna subtract three x and I get seven x minus two equals 33. I'm gonna add two, I get seven x equals 35. Oh, this one's gonna work out nicely. I'm gonna divide by seven and I get five. All right, well, this is an example of one solution. There is only one solution that is gonna make this equation true. Nice. Okay. All right, let's work on number six. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and distribute here. Simplify first, so I have 10x plus 12 equals two times five x is 10x plus two times positive six is positive 12. Hmm, 10x plus 12 equals 10x plus 12. This is interesting. Now, if you stop, if you notice right away that this side is the exact same thing as this side, this is an example of all real numbers. It doesn't matter what number I'm gonna put in here for x, this left side is gonna be equal to the right side. If you don't notice that and you're like, I'm gonna move my variables to one side, here's what happens. I'm gonna subtract 10x, I'm gonna subtract 10x and I get zero over here, well, zero x. I just get 12 equals 12. Is that a true statement? Yeah, yeah it is. So that's another sign that says my answer is all real numbers, or this is kind of like the mathematical symbol for that. It looks like a funky looking R. This means no matter what number I put in, what thing I put in for X, if I could put a negative or a fraction or a decimal or the square root of five, it doesn't matter. The left side is gonna be equal to the right side. All right, let's do example seven. You probably have figured out what example this is gonna be. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and simplify my right side first. My left side is 9m minus four. I have negative 3m and a positive 12m, that is 9m plus five. Now, wait a minute, you might notice something about this. Take a look at my variables, 9m and 9m, and then take a look at the constants, negative four and five. Hmm. If you notice right here, there's nothing that I can do because this term 
and this term will always be equal no matter what I plug in but then these terms are not going to be equal so this is an example of there's no solution at all that will work if you don't see it right off the bat let's see what happens when you're like I think I'm going to move my variables to one side so let's say I subtract 9m and I subtract 9m and I get no m's I just end up with negative 4 equals 5 is that a true statement that is not true so therefore there is no solution there is no number that I could plug in for my variable that will make this equation true so you have three types of solutions there's one solution that'll work a whole bunch of solutions that'll work no solutions that will work. I would like you to go ahead and start working on Math Maze number three.